often we have difficulty in trying to understand whether the potential energy of an electric charge in a field is to be taken as positive or negative. In this video, I will make an attempt to make this concept simple and help you identify whether the potential, potential energy is to be taken as positive or negative. We will be dealing with the electric charge and electric field, but the same concept also is applicable to gravitational field and magnetic field. So let's first try to understand this concept with regard to a electric field, and then we will extend the same argument for a gravitational field. So let's say we have a, a main positive charge over and let's say we have a positive charge here. This is positive charge and this positive charge will have around it its electric field. So this is the positive charge and this is the electric field and the influence of this positive charge is within this field. And let's say this charge is the master charge, the main charge and let's give it a random value 20 coulombs. And I have another charge, small test charge, let's say this is 5 coulombs and when this 5 coulomb charge, the smaller charge or we will call it the test charge it reaches over here, it starts experiencing a repulsive force because of this positive charge and if I want to bring this positive test charge over here for example in the field over here, we will have to do work on this, we will have to apply an external force onto this and apply this force over here in some form and get it over here. And since we have done work on this particular charge and brought it inside this field, it gets energy and that energy is the potential energy, electric potential energy and we assign it a positive value. So this will be positive potential energy over here because we have done work on the charge and brought it inside the electric field. Wherever I go into this field, this positive charge will have a positive potential energy. The only thing that will happen is that the magnitude of that positive potential energy will keep on changing. If I am away from the main positive charge, that means this distance is large, this will have a less positive charge. So, so let me give it value. So over here, the positive potential energy may have value plus 10 joule. Over here, it may have plus 25 joules. And when I come very close to the charge over here, it may have a value of plus 72 joules for example. Again these values I have taken randomly. The value of this potential energy would of course depend upon the distance, it's inversely proportional, the force is inversely proportional to distance. So the potential energy would keep on increasing as we go closer and closer to the charge because we have to do more force, or we have to do more work to get it over here. So these are random values plus 10 joule, plus 25 joules and plus 72 joules. So this is how we assign or this is the reason why we assign a positive charge, a positive value to the potential energy. As against this, if I take a negative charge and the negative charge is over here, it will experience a force of attraction, a natural force of attraction towards this charge and therefore we will not be required to do any external work onto this and it will start automatically moving towards this positive charge and therefore when it comes over here we say it has negative potential energy because there is no external force required to be done, there is no external work to be done and therefore there is no external energy being given to this, therefore the potential energy is negative. And again the same thing will happen, over here it will have negative potential energy of minus 10 joule, over here minus 25 joule and here minus 72 joule, assuming that if this is plus 5 coulombs, this is negative 5 coulombs charge on this particle. So as we go closer, the potential energy will become more in terms of its magnitude but less in terms of its mathematical value because minus 72 is a smaller number as compared to minus 25. So in this case we assign a negative. So this is how we assign positive or negative value to potential energy and this is the convention that is used. Potential energy at a given point in a field is taken positive if external work 
is required to be done to get the charge to the given location. In this case, external work is required to be done to get it over here. So we assigned a positive value. And it is given a negative value if a natural force of attraction exists between the two charges. And as a result, external work is not required to be done. In that case, we give a negative charge. So if there is natural force of attraction, potential energy is negative. If there is no natural force of attraction, potential energy will be positive when we bring the charge in the given field. And what we can do is we can apply the same concept, same logic to the gravitational field. So let us say we have this is the earth. Let's say this is the earth and let me let me show the earth's gravitational field around it. So let's say this is the gravitational field of the earth around it. Now, in this case, if I use again the same logic as we have used earlier, let's say we have a mass, object of mass m over here. Now, there is a gravity, there is a natural force of attraction between the earth and this mass. So the mass will start moving towards the earth even if we do not apply any external force, even if we do not do any external work. And therefore, wherever this mass goes into this earth's magnetic field, it will have a, a negative potential energy. In this case, there is no repulsive force, unlike charges. In this case, we observe that there is a repulsive force in this case and there is attractive force. In case of earth, there is always a attractive force. There is never a repulsive force. And therefore, in the earth's magnetic field, the potential energy is always negative. And that potential energy is given by u is equal to minus g n n by r e plus h. There is always this negative sign. So the potential energy is always negative. g is the gravitational constant and e represents mass of the earth small m represents this mass of this object r e plus h so this is the center of the earth this is r e the radius of the earth and the mass is over here this represents h so the distance from the center of the earth because we assume that the total mass of the earth is concentrated at its center so this is the distance between the mass and the center of the earth so in this case we will always have a negative charge and as you would have guessed, in case of a magnetic field, if I take a magnet and this is the north pole, this is the south pole, and we know that the magnetic lines of force will move from north to south. And if I bring a north pole over here, there is a force of repulsion between these two. And as I keep on bringing this north pole over here into this particular field, Potential energy will keep on increasing and becoming is, and is positive because there is a force of repulsion and we will do an external force. And even if, if it's not a magnet, if I if I'm taking a magnetic material over here, there's a force of attraction. If I take a magnetic material, there's a force of attraction towards this magnet. In that case, as we go closer and closer to the magnet, the potential energy will be negative because there's a natural force of attraction. So I hope. The explanation with reference to the electric field, the gravitational field and this convention has helped you understand why we assign positive charges and negative charges in different situations for potential energy of a charge or a mass. Thank you.